The sea is filled with countless mysteries and endless breathtaking discoveries. We've got things that look like what you'd get if somehow managed to cross a piranha and a whale, and jellyfishes that could have come from the dinosaur ages. What about some dragon-looking creatures found swimming harmlessly past some divers? Or those that actually grab divers that get too close for comfort? Brrr. We've got all sorts of downright terrifying things living down there, along with some of the greatest discoveries known to man. With all the mysteries going down in the deep blue, let's find out what some of the strangest things divers have found way down there. Okay, subscribe to the channel and let's dive right into it. Phantom Jellyfish We see jellyfish from time to time, some small, mostly dangerous, but always fascinating at every sighting. They are so unique, bizarre, and simply one of the many wonders of the world with the way they're designed. But did you know that some are really massive and lurk in the deepest realms of the ocean? Well, say hello to the giant phantom jelly. This particular one was spotted with a device 3,200 feet deep in the Monterey Bay. Of course, these are depths that humans can't reach, which also explains why they're so rare to find. Imagine a jellyfish that's five times the size of a man. Insane! Sea Note Angelita Have you ever heard of a river underwater? It's just like your regular river. You've got the bank, some sticks, and sand, only it's underwater. Yep, you heard that right, an underwater river. But before you get all confused and start questioning how such things are possible outside of SpongeBob, let me quickly add that it's not exactly what it seems to be. Yes, it looks like a piece of dry land that's gotten submerged by a super angry god just like it was, but in fact, they are very rare optical illusions caused by halo saline, which is basically a cloud of hydrogen sulfide caused by decomposing organic debris at the bottom of the cave. I bet you would have known that if you didn't feel like science sucked in middle school. The Ice Finger of Death With a name like that, it'll sure as heck send chills down anyone's spine. The Brennicles, as they are otherwise called, are actually more fascinating than scary. Divers first came across them in 1960s. The underwater icicles look like something Elsa from Frozen would do if she needed to pick up something from the bottom of the sea. But these are actually formed when sea ice cracks and leaks out saline water. Since the saline water is denser than the water around it, it sinks to the bottom of the ocean and freezes anything it comes into contact with. Freshwater and sea creatures alike. Wait, isn't that Patrick? Yeah. It's got to be a bunch of Patricks. No other creature could possibly not flee from danger. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Is it the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars? Or could it possibly be a UFO discovery? These are some of the many questions that have been left unanswered following the discovery of what has been called the Baltic Sea Anomaly. The rock formation, underground Nazi lab, UFO, lost underground city was found by a Swedish-based Ocean X team that usually scours the sea for lost treasure and ancient artifacts in 2012. Their discovery was then analyzed by scientists from Stockholm University who concluded that it was simply a glacier deposit. But it's going to take a lot more than that to convince us that this this is an ordinary glacier deposit. A couple of other pieces of evidence also counters what the scientists have explained. We'll let you decide what to think. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section. And moving on. Cola Can The Colacanth is one of the most compelling and famous Lazarus species. Of course, you've not ever heard of the Lazarus species fish because they were believed to be extinct, with the last glimpse of them being found in a fossil recorded from 66 million years ago. So you'd understand the shock of this group of divers when they found one deep in the sea after so many years of being supposedly extinct. Did you know these fascinating fish have four lobed fins? The lobed fins are believed to be precursors of the limbs of four-legged creatures. It was as if these guys evolved from being land animals to aquatic animals with their legs evolving into fins. Quite stunning. Unknown Sea Monster Okay, so we've seen and identified the phantom jellyfish, but what on God's green earth is that? 
Did you see how it flashed past the camera? In 2012, off an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico, a huge amorphous blob of flesh appeared out of nowhere and just disappeared just as it had come. The big brown sheet of flesh had reproductive organs that looked like a network of nerves, kind of like an alien life form. However, it's been identified as a creature with a name that sounds like a cool metal band, Deepstaria Enigmatica, a name as cool as the creature itself. Underwater Stonehenge as if having Stonehenge wasn't creepy enough, researchers had to discover another underwater. That's just too much to take in. However, this new Stonehenge was discovered in one of the least creepy places, Lake Michigan. But because they were underwater, they had degraded much more than the British Stonehenge. What's more exciting is that the markings found on these rocks show the existence of an animal that predates mammoths and elephants. Living Microbes from the Jurassic Period Did I hear you say, shouldn't they be extinct? Well, your guess is as good as mine. It just seems like evolution looked at some animals and said, you know what, you're good enough, and stopped messing around with them. One of these such animals is a group of microbes found at the bottom of the ocean. They've been around since the Jurassic period. While digging sediment cores in the ocean, they discovered this colony of microbes that seemed barely alive. After carrying out tests, as is the case with every researcher, they discovered the oldest microbes in the colony were over 86 million years old. These guys had found a way to survive all that time without food or sunlight. They must have had one heck of a meal the last time they ate. Feather Starfish Would you look at that? A clump of feathers floating in the ocean. Oh wait, it's actually a feather starfish. Just when I was thinking that they would evolve to some kind of sea chicken. Now they're gonna be stuck a starfish for the rest of their lives. Sad. You thought that was weird. What do you think about this enormous unidentified creature? We'll talk about that big guy later. The engines of the Apollo 11 mission. Who would have thought the very rocket that launched Neil Armstrong into outer space on the Apollo 11 mission would be found after 43 years? Well, not the entire rocket, but its engines. It also turns out that the whole expedition that led to the discovery was funded by none other than the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Who would have known he's such a space geek himself? Elongated skull in a Mexican sinkhole. While the group of Jeff Bezos' back divers made a discovery of the engines of the Apollo 11 rocket in 2012, a team of divers discovered the reason why natives have gotten bad vibes about the Sakyal Moon. Sakyal Moon is a sea note located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The place had been feared by natives for many years, and the divers found out just why. They found two chambers of the sea note littered with human bones, including skulls that had been deformed. The discovery hinted that the skulls had been there because of human sacrifices. Maybe the ghost of those who were sacrificed still haunted the place. It could be the reason why local residents of the Maya dread the place so much. The Bimini Road The story of the lost city of Atlantis is one that continues to live on as an ancient myth or a modern day obsession. But what could fuel that obsession more than the discovery of a road that is believed by some quarters to be the route to Atlantis? The Bimini Road, which rhymes with bikini by the way, I don't know why I said that, it's an ancient and mysterious road laid down many, many years ago. It was first discovered in the 1960s as a bunch of stones laid down next to each other. Something like an underwater cobblestone road. The road suddenly starts and ends, which means it's a small part of a long lost causeway. But the biggest debate since its discovery is whether it's a natural arrangement of rocks or a man-made structure. Underwater Crop Circles Crop circles have been speculated by UFO researchers as things that could only be created by aliens. Even though some people think that they're almost certainly just pranks pulled by a bunch of bored rural kids. 
so you'd understand the disbelief on the faces of divers off the coast of Japan when they started noticing strange patterns at the ocean's bottom, each one about seven feet in diameter. Could it be that aliens are back and hanging out in the depths of the sea and drawing weird pictures in the sand? That would be a quite weird hobby for the aliens, but it turns out that the underwater crop circles are drawn by the least expected creatures, male pufferfish. The little holes and lines you see these pufferfish making with its fins are the little details of a bigger, beautiful, and magnificent piece of art. The pufferfish spends 10 days creating the circular pattern. The result is something phenomenal. No wonder we thought aliens made them. But why? Well, to impress the lady pufferfish, of course. The lady pufferfish goes around during the mating season looking for the perfect circle to lay her eggs in. Talk about doing the most to woo a lady. The Ghost Fleet of Truk Lagoon By 1944, Japan was in a really tight spot. Allied forces had gained air superiority, and the U.S. bombers could fly all over the Pacific, raining hell on Japanese ships without much fear of retribution. Then, for some weird reason, the Japanese decided to put all their eggs in one basket by keeping the bulk of their navy in one place, the Truck Lagoon. Seeing this ridiculous move, the Allied forces launched a two-day massive attack against the lagoon, drowning 50 Japanese ships and 250 airplanes that were a huge chunk of their remaining fleet. Because of the war, the Americans didn't have enough time to clean up the island. All the sunken ships, airplanes, and whatnots got left at the bottom of the ocean. Sorry for the little history lesson, but what I'm getting at is that the ruins of these Japanese Navy ships were re-explored in the 1960s, and surprisingly, the ships, airplanes, and tanks were still in good shape. However, the site now serves as a tourist attraction, but it's not safe as the place is almost entirely booby-trapped with ragged metal edges that can easily cut through the skin. To make things worse, the place is crawling with sharks. I'd rather go skydiving. Robust Red Horse Another fish that has made a shocking rediscovery after its hundred years of disappearance from the scientific record is the Robust Red Horse. This stout fish with pale fins and a huge striated lower lip situated where you'd think a chin would go was first discovered by a European naturalist named Edward Drinker Cope in the 1870s after he found a single fish in the Yadkin River in North Carolina. After some time, his specimen was unfortunately destroyed because that one fish he caught was the last one anyone would see for another 122 years. Of course, such hiatus was enough for anyone to assume the creature was extinct until it made a miraculous return in 1980 and then in 1985. Since then, it has gone from extinct to near extinct to having sustainable populations. The Sunken City of Dwarka of all the four dhammas, a sacred place of pilgrimage in India, Dwarka is the most fascinating and best studied underwater site. This city is said to have been created by the Lord Kirshana and is both spiritual and historic importance. Located at the Gwart's west coast of northwestern India, the site is significant in tracing human civilization because a carbon dating record showed that it's over 9,000 years old which predates known Indian civilization by some 4,000 years. It also made historians who believe that there wasn't any large civilization before Christ have a rethink. The Silfra Crack Have you ever fantasized about swimming in a crack? Not just any crack, but the crack between the North American and Eurasian continent? Yeah, sure. Who hasn't? It might sound odd, but it's actually achievable at the Silfra Crack in the Iceland's Thingvellir National Park. The crack was formed in 1789 following a series of earthquakes that opened up several fissures in the area. The Silfra fissure was formed in the divergent tectonic border between the Eurasian and North American plates, and ever since then, it has been one of the most popular natural attractions in Iceland. The water in the rift? It's the clearest and cleanest water you'll find anywhere in the world, so you could let in little sips while snorkeling. A loot of World War II discovered 
We all know war is an expensive business, and the one thing that England feared was to lose to the Nazis just because they were strapped for cash. Before the internet and worldwide banking, to move silver and gold across empires, they had to be put on a ship and sailed around the world, which is very risky, you know, especially considering the super dangerous Nazi U-boats in the water. So in 1942, the SS City of Cairo, the ship's name, sailed from India with 100 tons of silver to help out the war effort. For some reason, which I'm guessing is to avoid suspicion, they sailed without escort. As expected, the Nazi U-boats found the ship and blew it to pieces. Years passed and $50 million worth of gold set at the bottom of the ocean, with only the fish and mermaids around to spend it. Finally it was found, probably because mermaids didn't spend money or maybe fish don't have pockets, they could fit coins in. But the treasure, if we choose to call it that, was discovered by a team who also had a cut after the United Kingdom had melted and sold it off. The Mysterious Manganese Balls of the Atlantic Ocean One of the strangest things that you could find in the ocean are these groups of little manganese nodules hanging out, slowly growing. Why? It's not rocket science to see manganese grow in the ocean, they simply get dissolved in the ocean water, somehow and slowly accumulate on other clumps of the metal. But you see the process takes place very slowly. And by very slowly, I mean the little metal balls grow only one centimeter every million years. Therefore, they must have been around a really long time. The mystery surrounding the formation of these balls remains unknown, but scientists, trust them to always come up with something, theorize that they might have been started by ancient underwater microbes or maybe they're just a natural result of ancient oceans. But let's be real, you and I know it's gotta be aliens, just leave it at that. Before we look at the next discovery, which of these discoveries has been the most fascinating for you? And please, don't say the sulfur crack, cause that's my favorite. Let us know what you think in the comments below. The Mysterious Yonaguni Complex The Yonaguni Complex was first discovered by a dive tour operator back in 1985. The ancient structure has since been the subject of heated debates among scientists. A marine geologist at the University of Rukus in Japan, Masaki Komura, believes the structure is the ruins of the Japanese version of Atlantis, sunk by an earthquake 2,000 years ago. But some researchers aren't convinced the structure is even man-made. Obviously people who want there to be only one Atlantis, claiming it's merely a natural formation. And the debate goes on. The Lost City of Hercelion Next up, we've got what was once known as Thonis and was only ever mentioned in very few inscriptions and ancient texts before it was discovered by an expedition led by French archaeologist Frank Godio. He was on that expedition to actually find some 18th century French warships before they stumbled upon a face from the watery shadows. After seeing the statue, he then embarked on a mission to find the lost city which he believed to have existed off the coast of Egypt. With the aid of advanced underwater screening technology, he finally discovered the city, submerged 6.5 kilometers off the coast. They also found 64 ships, gold coins, 700 anchors, and statues standing over 16 feet tall. New Jersey's Train Graveyard you know how sailors threw stuff overboard when they were hit by severe storms. Apparently these two rare, well-preserved steam engine trains found 90 feet underwater had suffered a similar fate, but no one's entirely sure how they ended up being lost to the sea. For starters, there was no record of the trains ever being built, and these 1850s built trains were never reported to be lost either. So it's either the trains were part of some top secret project that was lost to the sea, or someone tossed them overboard during a storm. Or do you have any clues as to how these trains ended up at the bottom of the ocean? Please share. An ancient Greek computer. If there were to be a discovery that would reshape the history of science and technology as we know it, it's got to be the ancient Greek computer found in bits between 1900 and 1901 after 2000 years. 
The device named the Enthikiera Mechanism is in fact an ancient Greek analog computer that has gears just like in wristwatches. Thanks to modern day technology, scientists were able to solve the puzzle of how the device, which is no bigger than a mantle clock, they found that it was to be, in quite simply, a sophisticated calendar and computer that could map the solar and lunar calendars. It could even be used to count down the days until the next Olympics and even add a user guide within it. Simply astonishing. The Mariana Trench Moving on, we go to the discovery of the deepest part of the planet's ocean, the Mariana Trench. Although its estimated depth varies, it's generally been accepted to be 6.8 miles deep. That's five times the length of the Grand Canyon. The trench was first discovered in 1875 using a weighted rope, but it would take another 85 years before the first descent would be attempted. And since then, there have been more than three, most recently in 2012 by Canadian film director James Cameron. The director reached the bottom of the trench in a submersible vessel, Deep Sea Challenger. People believe the place to be one of the most mysterious locations on the planet, and very little is known about the place, and it's also home to some of the most bizarre creatures in the talk. Fish that seem to lack faces, a sprawling field of bacteria, and giants that resemble life from other planets. Speaking of bizarre creatures, remember the clip we mentioned? Well, that was sent by a viewer for us to decipher what was going on. Such a clip looks like a scene from a sci-fi movie and isn't really authentic, to the best of our knowledge. The clip, along with the dinosaur-looking creature, is a product of well-crafted CGI animations posted online. They're all over the internet, but you can trust us to bring you only factual and real content. The 2,400-year-old boat in the Black Sea in 2018, a group of divers made an incredible discovery more than a mile below the surface of the Black Sea off the coast of Bulgaria, the oldest intact shipwreck in the world. The amazingly well-preserved boat is estimated to be around 2,400 years old. It would measure 23 meters in length and a lack of oxygen at the depth of the sea meant the Greek vessel's mast, rowing benches, rudders, and other details are all perfectly intact. All right, don't forget to comment below which of these underwater discoveries you find the most interesting. We'll see you in the next one.